Today we're in the youth town and we're standing on one of the most prestigious streets in Edinburgh, which is Harriet Rock. The street is virtually unchanged since its original construction in the early 1800s. From its inception, the street has remained an enviable address in the city, housing the rich and famous of the city's elite for over 200 years. Harriet's Road drew its name from a self-made Edinburgh business tycoon of the late 16th and early 17th century, George Harriet. The buildings in the street are all A-listed, and the street itself sits in an outstanding conservation area at the UNESCO designated World Heritage Site. In 1802, the Harriet Trust governors approved a large-scale development by architects William Sybold and Robert Reed. This was to be part of the royalty of the city of Edinburgh, which meant extending to the northern end of the city following the success of the first new town. Harriet Row, facing south to the original new town, was the first street of this development. The original design concept was exceptionally modest, two-storey and basement other than the end pavilions and central pavilions, which were set at three storeys. Harriet Row was home to many famous residents, the most notable figure being Robert Louis Stevenson, who resided once at number 17 just behind me. Did you know that Queen Elizabeth, then Princess, along with her sister, came along to a reels party hosted in the house just behind me? The members of the public got wind of it and made such a racket outside asking her to come out, she en ended up coming out with her sister and Prince Philip and waving from one of the balconies. So, with the palace fronts and polished ashlar facades, do you think that Harriet Row is one of the most attractive streets in Edinburgh? Let us know what you think.